couch are we? <laughs> this is supposed to be like a fun vlog. Like, oh my gosh, look at me decorate my apartment. It's just turned into like a reality show where I'm doing like confessionals now about Wayfair. I'm Bria, welcome to the channel if you're new here. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss hanging out with your girl. All right, so interior design, I'm gonna be honest with you, is not my forte, okay? I know my strengths and my creativity stops pretty much with the camera. When it comes to interior things, I don't got it. So in this case, I teamed up working with Avant Garde and Julia. I'm gonna link their information down below because I could not have done it without her and her team. She's actually really Really, really big on TikTok, and that's how I discovered her. I love that she explains and educates on interior design instead of just telling you what she likes. She shows you how to, for instance, measure properly so that you get the right sizes of furniture pieces so they go together really cohesively and don't look weird and awkward together. And that's what I love about my space now. Everything just feels like it blends together nice. I call it my little palace of peace because that's what it feels like and that's what it should feel like, but it's kind of the this mathematical equation that you can't just necessarily do with the eye. So how my process worked with Julia was once I sent her the measurements, what we did was agreed upon like a mood and a vibe and like a style that I wanted for my living room. Now I'm really big on just everything being calm and neutral. So that was kind of like the biggest piece for me and a few specific things with functionality. But once we had the vibe figure out, she then sent these virtual examples of what my living room could look like so she sent us three options and I sent back my favorite one or if I had anything I wanted to add or suggest we worked on it then and once we came down to our favorite we nailed that down and then she and her team worked on an Excel sheet with all the links and the pieces that I would need when I tell you this is literally like dumbed down for me perfectly like I didn't have to do anything but click and buy so she sent us the spreadsheet and at our own pace within our own budget we were able to go ahead and get those pieces one at a time or whatever. So truthfully, we have been shopping since like December. Most of our pieces came in by June. So we finally had enough to show you guys. So thanks for being patient with that. Supply, demand, shipping, it's all really crazy right now. So just a heads up, if you're in the interior market right now, just be patient. It might take you a while or just work with companies that you know can get you what you want faster. But otherwise, we're very happy with what we have despite the drama that you will see in this video. <laughs> and before you ask, everything is linked down below. Yes, including the couch that I almost bought Wayfair over. Yes, everything's down below, um, just be my Mindful, again that if you buy something you want to get the size that's appropriate for your space and the color of course that works for you so just keep those things in mind anyways I'm so excited to show you guys this process of us building our little home making it cozy and nice and our little palace of peace so let me know in the comments what you guys think after you see everything and of course if you have any questions happy to answer them in the comments too So cute, right? Bubby approved. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's probably the best itchies he's oh. gotten. It's like a very, it kind of feels like wool, so I know it itches him. I've never seen him like do that on a rug before. You're like right. that passionately. After months of shipment delays with furniture, we finally have most of our major pieces to go ahead and get started with the home decor process. We're so excited. Um, obviously, you see the rug. We just rolled her out. We're putting a pause on everything because we just got a call that the couch is 30 minutes en route. However, it's been an hour. I'm getting a little anxious, a little impatient. We do have other things going on today, so we kind of need to get the show on the road. 
I just want to see this couch, okay? I just, we've got nowhere to sit right now. <laughs> we gave away our old furniture, so we really actually need it, but it's time for a new era. We're transitioning out of college pieces, like new grad furniture to emerging adult pushing 30. <laughs> so we're definitely coming into our own now. We worked really hard to be able to get here, so thank you very much. This is an exciting time, it really is. These are investment pieces, and I'm just excited to finally have like really, really, quality pieces and some kind of style we've never really had a style when it comes to home decor we just kind of like took what we had and made it work because furniture could be a little bit pricey you know the couch is here Ooh, two big boxes but we are freaking starving right now so oh, we are going to get some kava real quick but i am so excited about this guys the couch is out of the box Let's take a look. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty simple to put together. The only thing we have to do is screw these legs in and they give you the legs and screws. It's quite simple, I think. Hopefully I'm big and strong enough to get those screws in. Yeah, well, we might have to call for reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Comment if you think AJ is strong enough to get these screws in on his own. While he's working on that, we have, it's like a sectional situation, so He's working on the bigger piece. So these are the legs for the smaller part of the sectional. They're tall legs, I like that. Bubby's gonna love that because he likes to stay underneath couches and beds. Is that a dog thing or is that a Bubby thing? I'm risking going crazy. You need some wrist work. I am taking that out. <laughs> it's just, I don't know what you're talking about. You need it. <laughs> you need a Bria after dark you can change you guys, sorry. Um, I hope I don't get demonetized for that. Whatever. I'm married now. I can be a whore. Keep that in the vlog. It's my channel. Hop off if you don't like it. Babe, it looks so good, babe. <laughs> Man, stop. You guys look like if you wanted to, you would. Building the couch from scratch. <laughs> I got the upholstery all stapled in. You built this from scratch, you guys. It was in Wayfair. For what? This is a different color. <sighs> like literally gonna cry. Okay, wanna know something that's not funny? Wayfair sent the wrong color of the second part of our couch. So this is the first part of our couch. Cute. This is the second. What the fuck, Wayfair? Oh my God. Okay. It's just a couch, Bria. The world is on fire. Stop being selfish. Okay, I'm back. This concludes the portion about the sofa for now. We aren't gonna get the other piece until May 27th. Love that for us. But at least we could put our butts on one piece for now. How do you do that? I am not in good spirits right now. This home decor process takes a lot of time, as you guys know, and like, I film in here for everything that I do, so now I have all of this, and it's just, my brain doesn't like this right now. I know I'll look back and be like, eh, it's being dramatic, but you know what, right now, Good morning, it's day two of the home decor diaries. <laughs> so I have an update on the couch, you guys. Basically, what had happened was, I don't know, it's Wayfair. I talked to Wayfair on the phone yesterday and they immediately shipped out the piece, which thank goodness it's not gonna be like all this drama. It's just a tad bit frustrating because we have to kind of plan things around content in our schedule, so we'll just have to adapt. It's supposed to be here between May May 18th and the 25th, which is kind of a broad window. However, some good news is that last night I got an email that it shipped already. If it's gonna come as fast as this piece did, that means it might be here sooner than we thought, which 
would be amazing. But for now, I am sitting on the first half of the couch and it's really nice, I love it. Yeah, we're just gonna keep working on other stuff today. We're gonna put the coffee table together and we're also gonna do some wall art and get the mirrors up today. So that'll be a really big portion to check off of our list. Anyways, guys, it's been a little bit of a headache with the couch. And if you missed on the previous couch drama, this is our second attempt at buying a couch, but it's been hard, okay? Shipping and all the delays that have been happening backed all of this up for six months for us. So it's been a really, really slow process. And I'm sure a lot of you probably can relate if you're in the market area now. My advice, be really patient and get things as soon as you can actually get them. All right, we're back in action. And today we're starting out with our Joss and Main coffee table. Really excited. We're gonna put this one together. Looks like it has hella pieces. AJ's thrilled. Anyways, as a reminder, everything will be linked down below if you see anything that you like. You can have it. It's down below. <sighs> this man's. It's his channel now. Everyone on my last vlog loves his outros, so you know what? I'm just gonna pass the baton. Do you know they said, um, AJ Hive, there's a hive for you. Y'all didn't even give me a hive. <laughs> I've been busting my ass to build this channel and I don't even have a hive. He pops up at the end of one video and he has the whole nation on his back. Ain't that a bitch. I'm like the fun parent. You're the, you're the one that keeps people in line. But it's true. I don't like that. I could be fun. Naturally, Bubby is being extremely helpful. Um, he's already loving this rug. Great sign here. And there's half our couch looking great, y'all. I'm so mad still, but I woke up in a better mood today. So we're gonna be okay. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Okay, I promise. The most difficult part I think about this table was getting it out of the box. It was packaged so secure, which honestly is a great thing, but this is the bottom of it. And AJ's looking at the instructions and he says, this is like, pretty easy assembly, which is good news. <laughs> There's literally four parts and all these. It's like they made this for people who, and I don't think I'm one of these people who have trouble putting this stuff together because they got a little namaste oh, wow. girly. Like they're like, listen, it's <laughs> gonna be okay. And then even here, they're like, friendly tip, take a deep breath. Like, <laughs> wow, we really ordered from one of those companies. It literally tells you the installation time is about 15 to 20 minutes. I respect this company so much because guess who would be the, the kind of bitch to need a namaste for building a simple table? Me. You know, I used to be a little Mr. Fix-It. When I when I moved to Kansas City, I didn't have anybody. I had my, I built my entire apartment and yes, everything was built kind of wonky and AJ later like told me there were like stuff backwards. I found something wrong with every, <laughs> bless her heart, every single thing that she put together. But you know what? It was sturdy. Everything was sturdy. So you could, you could say it was built backwards or there was a piece that was inside and out. That's fact. I never fell though. It never collapsed on Did me. Did you ever fall? No. So honestly, round of applause. Give me my flowers. I did all that without my dad, without friends. I built that bitch on my own. And, and you know, I think that makes it better because it's like now there's some character to it. Built by Bria, should we make a new line? That's my next brand. I'll give you abstract looking furniture pieces built custom by me to intentionally look terrible. Okay, we can confirm that this is quite easy. <laughs> Even I, you guys, could probably do this one. But yeah, you literally, these little legs were all like individual, but you slide them into each other and then you just screw everything down. Yeah, really easy. Yeah, so slide the legs together. They connect here, like little puzzle pieces, and then you just pop in the screws. So it literally took him 15 minutes. We're ready to see the reveal. So it is a lift top table. Ooh, you're right. Your little WD-40. Jesus. Oh, you gotta kinda like do that. High five. 
Okay, so our new lift top table is looking mighty cute. The springs are very stiff, so heads up if you purchase this one. That's what it looks like when it's lifted, which is really nice to kind of be able to work from the couch or eat here or whatever. So yeah, I really like this. It just, the quality of this is amazing too. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. We love her. We are on to the next level, which is mirrors now. So this one might be a little tricky. We're thinking we're gonna have to lean these up against the wall. You're probably like, well, duh. But our other thought was that we might have to like mount them somehow. But I think that they're pretty sturdy. So we're gonna see what's going on here. And if we have to mount them, we'll figure that out. Okay, we're making progress. This is so looks. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I really feel like an, a grown ass woman right now. Like, I see the vision, but she's heavy. so pretty y'all and this is just one we have two it gives the illusion that our apartment is like twice the size love that but this is like so nice we're gonna clean it when ducks and everything but great pick i like the frame yeah it's really nice it's like a black trim here so yeah very nice just gotta do it one more time guys i'm gonna be able to do my outfits here now not in that baby gold mirror over there on the wall it's kind of hard to do fit checks in that one but this it's gonna be so much better, y'all. One thing about AJ is he can break down any box. Maybe he was just trained well. He's the intelligent choice here from all the PR that we get. Mm -hmm. He is always breaking that down so efficiently. And this box was that big. He convinced it down to that. One thing about a box is I'm gonna break it down. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm gonna break down a box. <laughs> I was just saying how I could not be single and trying to live a bougie life. I could, but I would be using like somebody's task rabbit because there's no way I could have assembled any of this together. It was fine when I was assembling like things that I was getting fresh out of college. They weren't that big, but this stuff is manual labor. You you gotta have help. We haven't used TaskRabbit yet, but some people recommended that to us if we needed to like mount anything. So if you are a single independent person that is thriving and wants help around with setting things up, look at TaskRabbit. Y'all check us out. This just makes everything feel so big now. Ugh, oh, I love it. We're just tricking our brains into thinking we have twice the space. We moved them a little bit closer together because initially they were a little bit separate and it just looked like an accident. Now this looks more like intentional here. Good morning. Is this day three? <coughs> Technically with you guys. So we have some updates for y'all. One, our TV stand came in and I know it's so heartbreaking that you guys can no longer roast me about putting my TV on top of a box. Because look at her introducing the new and improved TV stand. What do you guys think? I love it, let's give you a little tour. So, it's kind of like a lighter wood here. And then you have these really nice drawers and you could put a lot in there. So these will probably be like miscellaneous drawers just to keep stuff in. It smells so good. If you know what fresh wood smells like, okay. <laughs> but today's pretty cool because we are mounting our TV. We aren't mounting our TV. We have hired someone to come mount our TV, which is like the coolest thing ever because we've never had that and it feels like really fancy to have a mounted TV. So when we were in Maui for our honeymoon, we had a TV that swiveled out. So we're trying to do something similar today. But of course, like now we have the TV stand here to kind of help us gauge where we want to place it. So that's really helpful. Bubby is still enjoying the rug in case you were wondering. If I'm not looking at him, he'll rub his entire face in it. Here is Mr. Samsung. We are gonna unbox this baby before the mounter, mount man, mountain man comes. <laughs> <laughs> just so that is one less thing we have to worry about. Also today is really crazy for me because I'm interviewing for personal assistance. So we need to get as much as we can done so that I can do what I need to do. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this TV looks like. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
you have to see this. Okay, if you're ever deciding what to spend your money on and you wanna be maybe a little impulsive and you're like, hey, I should get a new pair of jeans. Stop it. Those new pair of jeans that are like whatever, you know, if it's a good pair of jeans, like two, three hundred dollars, you're not gonna get those. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna get instead. You're gonna get your TV fucking mounted, okay? Because there is nothing else in the world I could convince myself to spend my money on more than this. Look, the vibe of this mounted TV. These fellas just came in and I'm telling you, they handled that shit. It looks so good. And what's cool, guys, you wanna show them how it rotates and tilts? Yeah. We got Vanna White over here. So this is already like a little further out. It can come out a little bit further, give you some room if you wanted to rotate. Oh I'm cooking, gosh. watching my pirates. Tilt the other way. Uh-huh, yeah, if you ever wanted to show the people. Yeah, show the people the street. <laughs> Maybe you're chilling in the corner. You need, you need like a little extra angle. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging you. And mm. then you can just push it back into yeah. the wall. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that! Oh my god, guys. Note to self, Mount TV. If you're gonna do anything to elevate your home, that was $300 right there. And that is a skill I would never attempt to do on my, don't ever try to do that on your own, especially if you live in an apartment, you're gonna get evicted. <laughs> don't do it, just hire somebody. We literally got the okay from one of the people that works here and we were like booked the next day. And it is a vibe, I can't get over it. Hey vloggy vlog. So we're back with more decorating. We just had a couple more things come in. We have this really cute faux plant that hopefully makes the aesthetic more aesthetic. We're gonna hang some wall art, which is from Minted and it's like minimalistic vibes or whatever. Careful with the box cutter. Look at this curious George. Such a curious boy. So she's a faux olive tree. And just a reminder, everything, including this tree, will be linked. We know ourselves. We ain't about to really nurture no plants around here, so. I'm trying. Until we have a house with a yard, like, I feel like, you know, why hurt ourselves? Ooh, this is really pretty. Oh, it's like still tied down. Yeah. Love her. We need a little pot for her. Wow. We're in Greece. <laughs> Let the olive trees grow. There's even little baby olives on it. Let me let me get you guys a close up. Ooh, baby, look at them olives. Can you put that on a salad? How cute is she? From far away, guys. I'm in Greece. So I was like, should we get a real pot, like a cute pot? And honestly, I'm thinking, I'm thinking no because this is actually going to be, don't talk about the other half guys, I'm over it. This is gonna be like hidden back here. It's gonna kind of give this corner some dimension and then the wall art will also be vibing over here as well. So I don't think we need the pot guys. It's not gonna be seen. Oh, go AJ. I don't know, I just thought she'd be a little taller. I'm gonna spread these out, I need them to vibe. Do we think she's tall enough guys? I really thought she was going to be like here, but it's all good. It's all good. I just don't want these to be like against the wall. Wait. Are you laughing at me? No. I'm just trying to figure out the vibe. That's the vibe. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah. Cute. Cute. We'll probably have to rearrange this. Okay, guys? Give me a second. So my thing about this is I think, I don't know if I got the right size. Um, I got to check my Excel sheet, but you know, if we're living, we're vibing, you know, not the vibe. So what I'm thinking is we get a little plank of some sort to elevate her because this is just not, no, we're not doing that. And that way, you know, because I just thought, I thought it was going to be taller. This is easy guys. This is easy. It's not a big deal. <laughs> we're going to get a plank make her a little taller and then we don't also have to push the couch as forward because right now the couch is like flush but once we get this other piece to the sectional you know we can't have like the branches right here am i making sense thanks for listening so vloggy vlog i put this toolbox here to just kind of mimic you know what i'm what i'm talking about so now if we get like a little platform that high sitting Look, we're good, we're good. So something like this or a little taller. Time for art. Let's do the wall art now. Let's get artsy. Yeah, artsy fartsy over here. What do you think, dude? Look at this big tube. All right, how do we get into this? I'm all about the box cutter today. Hello, buddy. 
Oh. It's a picture of me. This is a nice print. Thank you. That's me. There's AJ. He had a half face. And we have our frames here. And this is where I decided to save some money because yes, I could have gotten some frames that were like, you know, better quality, but I don't anticipate people climbing on my couch, looking at my frames like that. And if you do, you're going home. <laughs> so I said, you know what? We're gonna go with $13 frames and save some money since we splurged on everything else. I feel like there's no footage of me actually working, so everybody yeah. comment that I was working. Ugh, I had to be the cameraman. Yeah, you were double duty. I know. I'm about to miss up my nails. Life hack, use a knife to lift the little prongs on the back of the picture frame so you don't mess up your fingernails. You never seen anyone do this? Not that many. Yeah, those, those are a lot, actually. <laughs> there's like 12, 20. At least we know the picture ain't going nowhere. That's right. Oh my gosh. Don't talk about my socks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like very aware of myself now that there's always a camera. Cause like who thinks about the holes in their socks, you know? TikTok. <laughs> like you will start to notice everything about yourself if you get an internet job. I'm telling you. How far down do you think? I would say like, well, I don't know. We have to like kind of see both of them actually. So let's let's put the pictures in first and then we can mock it. Okay. It's like plastic, it's not glass. I think that might be the difference between like a expensive one and the one we have. Bro. What? This is a fucking crack. No. Look at this shit. Did I do that? No, I would have we would have heard it. Right. Okay, maybe don't get the cheap ones, guys. Ugh, that's weird. I'll just order a new one, but for now we're just gonna put it on because it's really not a big deal. Yeah. So, wait, let's see if this one has any goddamn cracks. No. Okay. Maybe I did it. I don't think so. We would have heard it, I think. Okay, so we're just gonna go with the flow because you know what I learned with interior designing is shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> She's not upset at all about some of the mishaps. I'm handling this so well. Okay. <laughs> Because being a control freak and basically decorating your apartment after the pandemic when there's like so many shipping issues is like, it's prime. It's like a video game. Yeah, like I really hope you guys have patience. Otherwise it is very, it makes it like 10 times more rewarding when things do start to come together. Cause we've literally been <laughs> waiting facts. for months. <laughs> Bubby, we love your big head in this frame. <laughs> like love. <laughs> Is your daddy a glass maker? Cause you show acting like you see through. Me and my thirteen dollar cracked frame. Ar, 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 ar. Look at his giant head. Big head boy. Oh. Oh, poor dear. That's the nothing. That's the like prop. <laughs> Additionally, don't forget to make sure that you put the back on right side up so that way the hooks are not at the bottom. I would be so mad if I did this with my fingers because they would be so raw. Put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it. So, where is the front? Okay. So, it needs to go this way. Are you sure? Because I, yes. I thought. I literally just looked at it. Do you want to check me? Yeah, I do actually. Oh my god, there ain't no trust in this relationship. Okay. I'm in kindergarten, everyone. <laughs> this is my first finger painting. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I know that my first interior era was crusty. I honestly just thought it looked like, like it was on the wrong way, but I didn't see that and it. It was you. You know what? I'm gonna give you that. It was probable. Why is this so hard? It's very hard, right? Can you help me? Yep. I got like three and a half sides. Period. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay, now. Oh my good. Oh my good. Look at this crusty crack. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I try to save money one time and the universe spites me for it. Don't be a broke bitch anymore, Bria. Damn. It's really big. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I can order another frame. It'll be here in a jiffy. Let's put this one higher so it's less visible on the eye. All right, so we we're marking where we want it to start with our teeth. We're gonna put the cracked boy on top because we don't want the crack to be the most eye-catching part, but they're going to be stacked, like one on top and then one on the bottom. I think I'm getting it on the hook, the actual hook, you know? It's kind of hard. adult out here. You can't even really see the crack from here, guys. Don't watch this on your HGTV. Good job, AJ. Hey, vloggy. So, look what came. It's our plant stand. So, I think we are ready to test this out. What's cool about this one is, as you can see, it's like two parts. You can flip it either way if you want a higher elevation or if you would like a lower elevation. So, I liked this one specifically because I feel like I wasn't going to like box myself in because I really didn't know what size I needed. So, we're gonna test it out has a few more parts than I would like to deal with, but that's just me and my short attention. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I think these are little felt pieces so that it doesn't scratch up the floor. Oh, it has screws. So what do I do? I don't know how to use the screw. You guys should have seen 2016 Bria. She invented screws. Well, I think I'm gonna wait to put the felt on because I need to see which direction I want it to go. But basically, you do that, and then you have a shorter side or a longer side, and either works. I'm not quite sure if I need this. Okay, so it goes, it goes here. Oh, guys, it expands. Here, let me show you. So if you have like a bigger pot, this is also kind of cool because you can pull these out. Oh, ow. I just got a splinter. That was, that was really fun. You can pull these out if you need a bigger space. Okay, so I'm assuming that this screw just goes right in the middle because there's really not a lot of other places for a screw. No instructions. Call her Bria the Builder. Oh, yeah. Super easy, guys. Your dog could do this. With its little paws, he could... Easy. Ta-da! All right, let's go test it out. I want to try the taller side first. Bubby, could you please give me some room here? Also, I don't think I properly, whoa. I don't think I properly floofed this tree out, so I'm gonna spread the branches just a little bit more, give it some shape. I just kind of took it out the package and was like, good enough. Hey, vloggy vlog, what do we think? Eh? Eh? Oh, that looks so much better. Just look at this angle here. I think that looks so much better. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Especially once that other piece comes. Yeah, once we have the full couch. couch, it's gonna really come together. But that corner just looked like unbalanced without the height. So, so cool. I'll link that for you guys. Really helpful. And like I said, it has different height settings and width settings for different size pots. So. Cute. Mr. Fix It over here put together one of our wedding gifts from Aunt Bar, our bar cart, and I think it's fabulous. That's awesome. So cute. She's been in hibernation for like two and a half years. So, a while. Uh, since like the wedding shower. This was also working as our TV stand for a while. We used the box. And, and it's cocoon. That was the box you guys were roasting us about. And look at us now. We now have a real TV stand and a bar cart. She heard you talking smack. She did. So y'all need to clear that up with her. 
It really is amazing how many things it takes to pull interior stuff together. But we just got our, well, we didn't just get these. These have been here. I'm just deciding to go ahead and take them out. Some throws, like blankets and pillows and stuff. We got this insert, which is actually really nice. Might have to shop their pillows more. We got the insert and the cover from Cot Cot Cottery. Cottery? This pillow looks really big. Oh, but this is a big little cover. Okay. Okay, it's got a zippy here. And then I think we just stuff her in there. I'm done with work. Yet I'm vlogging. Never mind. I'm still work. You guys aren't work to me. Isn't that sweet? You guys are not work to me. Oh my gosh! How cute. Love, love, love. It's gonna look even better when we have a full couch. I just wanna reiterate that. We should make like a montage of every time I say, when we get the couch, couch, couch. Cause that's how I feel. This is really nice. I'll show you how I place them later. And honestly, I don't know if it's gonna look good until we have like the whole sofa. We're gonna hold on that, but I have another thing to open. The other pillow that I got is from Pottery Barn, but it's actually gonna be like that to complement the other throw. And it's, it's big. I wonder if it's too big. Actually, it's not gonna be because I followed the dimensions that our designer gave us, so I don't think it will be. I'm just not used to like legit pillows. This is big. But this quality is too good. Like, dang. Whew. Gotta put you back into it. So the reason why I'm hustling to do some finishing touch things is my family is coming over today. We had this planned for a while, However, with the couch situation, obviously, you know, things kind of got a little bit messed up. Check out our throw. Oh, that's awesome. It's nice, right? Yeah. And that one from Cottery. It's a whale. Cottery. Cottery. I guess. Real place that yes. exists. This one is Pottery Barn, guys. So anyways, my family's coming. So I kind of wanted to put like some little finishing touches out today they saw like some of the place through facetime and i know that they're going to be impressed regardless but you know we work hard so we want it to be as like put together as possible however initially the plan was that like we would have a full couch we don't but it's all good it's all good i really don't care like honestly i'm over it <laughs> i don't care <laughs> so in theory you know they might go in the corner here i'm not really sure but i feel like there's a lot going on in this area so we should Put them here, or wait, is that one bigger? It was in a package, so I feel like I have to floof it a little more. Those are some big pillows. But it's gonna make more sense when we have a full couch, I believe. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the reference that I'm using. So this is the perks of working with a bomb interior designer. Um, she literally maps it out for me perfectly. And in this picture, they're in this corner. So actually I was wrong, but as you can see, I don't have a corner yet. So we're gonna wait on that. And for now, we're just gonna put them over here. But visually, like, yeah, it does not make sense. I actually do have a throw. I am washing it right now though. So that will be on the couch in a bit here. But yeah, we are making moves. Then as like another general update, I was going to show you guys. We put AJ's records here. I just wasn't a fan of this cube. So I did order him like a different record player. And it'll be here within the next few days. All washed and cleaned. Very cute. It'll add a little bit of contrast to the space since most of our pieces are on the lighter side. What do you think of this? Throw blanket. I love it. I think that matches the pillows really well. Mm -hmm. So this is supposed to go on this side some kind of way. This stuff shouldn't be that complicated, but it actually is. Like, I don't really know if this is good or not. <laughs> I'm just doing my best. Don't make fun of me. I don't know. What do you guys think? I like it. I'm standing right in front of it too, so that's cool. Just a little contrast in there. Or should I put it over the arm? Bubby, you kind of match that blanket, it's cute. I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't look natural. Like I said, it shouldn't be complicated, but it is. Cause it's like, I didn't really try, but I'm trying, you know? It looks like I sort of threw it over, like, I mean, I don't care. I don't care about this, I don't even care. But I care. 
I don't care. What do we think? I need to watch a tutorial on throw blankets. Yeah, I like that. Okay. It looks like I did it. Well, that's not nice. All right. <laughs> what, how should I do it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the interior designer, but I feel like it just makes more sense for it to be either uniform or like a little bit longer. I do like the uniform, maybe. I was trying to make it look like I didn't care, but I... Right, you're trying, you, you're going for the apathetic, trendy. yeah, like whatever attitude. My house just naturally looks like architect digest. The fold that I have is right. It's just a matter of the placement. And I don't like the tag. The tag is showing, unless you want to just rip off the tag. I do. I could get with that. Yeah, I think that makes like... Yeah, that's good. Like you might as well be intentional with it. Everything else is like very much has mm -hmm. its place in here. So yeah. that shit too. You know what? You want to be the YouTuber? Yeah, yeah. Take, hey guys. Take the camera. Right. I quit. Welcome to Hey AJ I, Mez. I quit. It's his channel now. Goodbye. Are y'all still going to subscribe to me? Vloggy vlog. Guess what? We have a whole couch. We have a whole couch. <laughs> oh my God. I just zoomed in on my face on accident. The vibes are immaculate, you guys. Oh man, we did it. Already got the third leg in. We are not playing games, y'all. This right here is about to be mama's new throne. Mark my words. If you come over, you gotta ask permission to be on that side. <laughs> Especially after all of this drama. If you have ever shopped at Wayfair, I would love to know your experience at this point. I didn't know what my followers were being so like, pessimistic about i really thought the first issue was a bloop but guys we got our package and they sent the wrong piece again what 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 what, what am i supposed to do i don't know how this happens twice oh my god it's so annoying bro it's so fucking annoying. Get these big fucking pillows away from me. Like, and then they can't pick it up. It's our issue that they can't come get it. And we don't have the space to accompany like all that stuff because what they did was they sent this exact piece now. When we said we needed the second piece. Y'all, I'm, you know what? I better not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna say what I'm, I need to calm down. You know when you're so mad that you're calm? <laughs> We're never gonna get this couch, are we? Oh my god, bro. You know, honestly, like everything has been a great experience except for working with Wayfair. Not only that, like the person I talked to today was actually helpful, like sent us pictures of the different parts and we were like, look, we need to make sure we're on the same page, okay? Last time the manager that I talked to was like, mm, well, you can just use what you have right now. Like, you know, I know that you have the wrong color, but you could just use that. I'm like, hi bitch, I make content for a living. Do you think that these brands want to see a multicolored couch in the background? No, they want me to have like, like a nice looking background that's not distracting so that I can focus on products. But you don't know what I do for work. So it's not your job to tell me what works for my lifestyle and what doesn't. <laughs> this is supposed to be like a fun vlog. Like, oh my God, look at me decorating my apartment. It's just turned into like a reality show where I'm doing like confessionals now about Wayfair. And they're just like, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. You only spent like $3,000. Sorry, we'll get it to you when we get to it. Like, dude, come on. Shout out Morgan though, most helpful person we've talked to thus far. I'm sick of y'all. I'm so sick of y'all, Wayfair. Today's canceled, bye. Okay, now I can tell you the real reason I'm so upset about the couch. So you'll see the vlog before this video probably, but AJ's not here right now, but his family's coming in town to surprise him for an early birthday celebration this weekend. And I just really wanted a place for everyone to sit. So that's why I'm really mad right now. I promise like I'm not a brat and I wouldn't be this upset if it wasn't about just trying to be a good host but i just wanted to give some context i'm gonna hide this memory card from him so he can't see this footage but in case you're wondering why i'm being so upset that's why and i wish i could tell him why i'm so mad but he'll see this when he edits it you guys after a few weeks of drama three tries with wayfair we have 
the part to chase that we needed that we were missing that we have gone through all this drama about you know it's been a minute because my hair didn't change in this video okay i got twists now it's already summertime the seasons changed i've evolved we different out here but it's right this time like yes this is the way it goes this is my throne as i was saying before this is my throne <laughs> i will actually hang out in my living room now because i have a place to lay you know i just can't believe it it's really here we're allowed to have nice things and on that note i will never shop at wayfair again you don't deserve to go through the emotional turmoil that we did it's a lot it's a lot on your heart i'm about to make an ig story because we have a lot of people who are now invested in the couch chronicles we can finally wrap this fucking vlog up Okay guys, we did it. Phase one is complete. And so phase two is definitely gonna be coming up. So subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'd like to see the other pieces we'll be getting in the near future. Of course, interior design is expensive. Furniture is expensive, you guys know that. For us, we have to kind of break it up in budget that works for us like reasonably. I'm sure many of you understand that, but we didn't want to get everything all at once because that would be a hefty dollar. These are like adult pieces too. Like we feel grown and this isn't like the stuff that we got in college that was kind of on the cheaper side and broke very easily. This is like nice stuff and we've never really spent a pretty penny like this, but it's totally worth it because I finally feel like I'm almost 30 now. Yes, I'm almost 30. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you thought of the pieces. I love hearing your feedback. And of course, we'll hit you back with phase two coming up soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.